it smells so good. I am Fepapa. Let us pick up today's ingredient for the KFC fried chicken rice. It's popular in Japan for a while and it's a really good idea for the leftover chicken. First, we need to wash the rice. At least we need to wash it two times to make sure the rice is clean. And we don't need the water be in there. We will use the chicken broth later. I have tried to cook this three, four times and the kit likes it and easy to cook. Now we wash the rice and then we need to add in the leftover chicken and also the chicken broth. We use four cup of rice. Now that's the chicken broth. We need to add up to the level four. That level. Make sure you did not add the water. If you have the water the sign, probably you can add a coin or bean. And also you don't need to use the KFC chicken wing. You can use any other brand. But we test how the KFC chicken is original, will be more tasteful and taste much better. Also, if one can of the chicken board is not enough, you can open another can. But for four cup, probably one and a half. After you add the water, go to four cup water mark. Now you can put the chicken on top of it. Since the chicken is fully cooked, so you just put on top of it and get the flavor and make it warm because if they are left over is after you put the chicken if you have like the leftover coin or bean or you want to add like the carrot you can put it in now then you just put the whole thing to the rice cooker and cook it when it's done we will go for the next step. Now the rice is cooked and it smells so good. Be careful when you take it out because the whole thing is really hot. This is my white rice, so good. I can smell it and I cannot wait to taste it. So now what we will do is that we need to remove the meat from the bone. The best way is that you take the meat out and then to do it. So if you want to do it like me, be careful those like small bone still inside the rice. Because I need to give the key to eat. So make sure no bone is in the rice. And then after you peel out all the meat, then you can mix them together with the rice. It's an easy way and good for the leftover we make. So you have another meal with the leftover, but it tastes good and the kids love it. Because you peel out the bone so they will have a rice and all meat. Each bite they will have like even you have the veggie, they will be like to eat it because they mix together already. So that's why I try to give this idea to all the parents and then you maybe purchase one time the fried chicken, you will have like two different meals. I need to say it again. When you remove the bone, you need to be careful. So I highly recommend you take out the, all those chicken, put it in a bowl to remove the meat and then put the meat back. It's better than the way I do it. This is the second time we do it. After that, we think it's not that good because we always find a really, really tiny bone still in the rice. So it's not good that you give it to the kids. So separate it, remove the bone, peel it out, and then 
go back and meet him there will be better. We try different favor. And the AFC for me general is the best. Even the crispy is not. But if you try other brand and they are taste even better than the KFC original, leave the comment, let me know. This step, you don't really need to like, mix the chicken and rice that well, but we do it is that we don't want the kid only to eat the meat and then forget the rice. So we mix it longer and much better, and after that, you get your fried chicken rice. It tastes so good. Give it a try. If you like it, give me a like, subscribe my channel, and follow my Instagram and Facebook so you won't miss my video. I will see you next week. At the end, you will see I have the picture for the one with the coin. Cook you. I hope you like it.